Hello, riders. It's Josh from CycleHunters.com. Today, we are checking out a 2022 Triumph Street Scrambler. 900 cc, 899 if you want to get really technical, but a 900 cc parallel twin from Triumph. And we all know they make great parallel twins. Now, this bike is really, really like new. Uh, when you see the mileage, you'll know why. But for blemishes or any of that stuff, virtually there's nothing. It is in impeccable condition. So as we get into this, you'll see little things here and there that make this a little bit more special being uh, the street. Now, if you guys remember back in the 70s, everybody had some kind of a version of a scrambler. Well, the retro bike is now here, and this one is gorgeous. It's got that matte green finish, uh, some brushed aluminum looking bits and pieces with the, the black. It just looks really good. It's liquid cooled, as you can see. It's got the little skid plate on here. I mean, the thing is in really, really great shape to begin with, but just a cool looking bike. So if you are somebody that's kind of digging the street scrambler look this is a great bike even the seat i mean you can kind of see it's got that little bit of a felt or some kind of a suede with the leather and the stitching just the whole way around the bike's awesome just a really cool machine for sure now so as i said 899 900 cc parallel twin 64.1 horsepower 59 foot pounds of torque so you don't need a whole lot more than that for this bike. It's just going to be really good to go. Got the Brembos. Look at that. It's so, so nice. Little covers that you normally would see on the shocks. Uh, Five-speed gearbox. Check it out right there. So clean. Little Triumph on top of the spark plug. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the forks, the KYBs. This front wheel is also a 19 inch. So you get a little bit more of that, uh, that travel in the suspension, a little bit more of that dirt bike feel. Rear disc brake, see the shocks in the rear here. Again, super clean. The bike weighs 492 pounds. The seat height is 31.1 inches so i mean pretty much anybody could sit on that and feel pretty comfortable looks good just looks really cool if you saw the jurassic park movie well i know one of them has a bike extremely similar to this in here now this also has the abs you can see that 255 millimeter front disc there's your signal we'll get into that that, that little bracket for the light looks cool too just little tidbits and things like that. It's always nice. The, ga the gas tank is 3.2 gallons, 55 miles per gallon. You'll probably see that unless you're cracking the throttle all over the place and riding it like a hooligan. But uh, for the most part, it's going to really give you decent gas mileage. And let's see here. This is an Anadigi. Tack. So, digital and analog. So the nice thing is you got that sweeping hand for the uh, the tachometer. I just always prefer that stuff. Now you see the ABS light break, uh, light blink, and that'll go off once you get going. You have your engine light, your uh, uh, temperatures, oil, your gas gauge on the left there in the digital RPM. It'll actually tell you that. Uh, you can see again uh, your mile per hour for your, your speedometer up here in your sweep. So it's not the tack, it's actually right there, it's gonna be your tack. Uh, you can see your turn signal left, right, you have your neutral light and your high beam and your low beam. And that is put on like that, you just touch it, there's your high and your low. That's high beam, that's low beam. You should be able to see it from the front. That's high, that's low, that's left front, Obviously, everything works on this. It's pretty much a brand new bike. Left rear, come up here, right rear, right front. Now, something else that's really cool about this bike 
you know the old scramblers you didn't have electronics you pretty much had seat of your pants and a clutch uh gas brake and a choke and that was pretty much it now this has three ride modes off-road road and uh rain so you can switch that right here you can switch your mode you can see it says off-road road you can see it says rain down in here as well so you can switch that it's pretty easy to do you just hit the button you also have your info so you can turn things on you can go to your you can see what i'm doing here it's just toggling through your trips stuff like that how much mileage you have left in the tank and your clock and then right back to your tack you have your horn here as well pretty loud uh, and then over here is on off and then start and your hazards so we are in neutral so I don't think you have to pull the clutch but we'll see here let's see what she sounds oh wait a minute let's see here oh I'm hitting the wrong one so here 54 miles the bike's got 54 miles on it so <laughs> Not even broken in. It's pretty much a newer bike. As new as you're going to find, I would think. But uh, let's go ahead and start this baby up. See what she sounds like. Oh, probably got to pull the clutch, as I thought. Yep. So it's not too loud. These pipes are gorgeous. And it's pretty much you would expect from a company like Triumph. It is a refined bike. It is to emulate the old old style rugged look of the scrambler but for a street bike now you want it to be way more smooth a little bit more refined i would think oh yeah that's got a nice deep growl to it and it's refined it's got a refined deepness to it so it's not brackish that kind of uh guttural crack that you get from some of these i'm sure if you got some pipes for it though and open it up you, you could easily get that but for an all stock bike, it does sound really, really good. It has that leap, that deep guttural tone to it. Uh, so you can imagine getting going down the road. It sounds big. <laughs> it sounds so good. Yeah, that's one of the best things about bikes, boy, is hearing that stuff. Here's your rear brake, that's your foot. That's hand brake. I'll go back to the uh, there you go you see your tack it's a little different I'm not used to seeing it digitally displayed like that sounds great I mean of course it's gonna sound great it's refined it's a triumph these guys really have come a long way in the past you know 15 years of building bikes now they've been around for a very long time pretty much almost as long as Indian uh, I think they're probably like the second oldest motorcycle company in the world. And they've been around so long that they've been making all kinds of bikes. And this is one that they had made back in the day. And that they chose to emulate in this new street package. So that you can really have the street tracker vibe going on. It just, you know, it looks really cool. The Scrambler is a really cool bike. Bunches of companies, you know, Ducati has one. Everybody's kind of got their version. And with the high mount pipes, it looks the business. It does look like it's aggressive, ready to go out and tear up a track. But this is more of a refined bike so that you can ride it on the street, obviously, and just enjoy it. If you want to take it down some fire roads, well, the tires are these street knobbies, as we call them. These are brand new tires. But they offer a little bit more grip than you would get out of uh, a regular street tire, as you can see. It's more like an adventure tour tire. So, you know, it does have some knobby on it to grab and to grip, but uh, you can also use it on the street without feeling that constant hum and that odd movement that you feel when you're on a dirt bike on the street. So this is why a lot of guys have been taking those bikes and turning them into the supermotos because they are a ton of fun as well. You need to see how clean that is. So overall, really a great bike. Uh, it's, that's pretty cool. Got the little Triumph logo in there. I know that you can get like a little, a, uh, there's a grill that you can get for those. So if you are somebody that's looking to probably ride this a little bit more in a rugged dirt environment, 
and you're behind people, you might want to get the little grate for the light because it would save you from getting rocks kicking up into that and perhaps busting it. But if you're not going to do that and you're just going to be a street rider, you probably don't have to worry too much. Embossed logo on the rear seat. But uh, again, you can see, you know, nice high mount uh, rear view mirrors, side mirrors. They got that brushed aluminum going on with there. So nice little touches. I mean, little touch right here, as you can see, right up on that. This is Bonneville. Even on the bars, little Triumph logo right there. So little touches here and there. The bike's just nice. Again, you're talking about a refined machine that was generally... Uh, a bike that you would run around and beat in the woods and dirt tracks all that kind of stuff but they've turned these now into these retro classics and instead of having to deal with all that you can just ride down the street and enjoy it and still have the same feel and obviously the same look you know there's accessories out there if you want to get bags for them all that kind of stuff you can do it now here's our battery tender lead every one of our bikes no matter how new they may be we do a 48 point check so all the things that we do to make sure like oil filter that's basic stuff check the charging system we're really just making sure that when you get it it's as close as we can make it to new there's not much you had to do with this one obviously because it's really pretty much there so if you are digging the 2022 triumph bonneville street scrambler give us a call 717-273-1809 now you can see our full list of our current inventory at www.cyclehunters.com you can email us at cyclehunters at gmail.com we have some financing options available uh we can ship bikes in some cases if you're close enough we can deliver them just let us know what it is we need to do to help accommodate you because we really try to do that as best as we can so that something as cool as that can be in your garage smiling at you when you're ready to go out for your ride so yeah, <laughs> beautiful bike. Give us a call everybody. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much. We've been so busy this year. It's not even funny. We definitely appreciate it. See him riding out there. Everybody's having a good time. And I got to be in here. But not a bad place to be when you get around to be all these get to be around all these really cool bikes. Gorgeous machines. A couple triumphs over here. But anyway, thank you so much. Until the next bike, happy riding. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Ding that notification bell for updated content.